faces, fix them and make them shine. I will not be defeated because this world is mine. Hey up guys, Bravely and I here and welcome to episode number one of a brand new playthrough on the channel at long last We've got a brand new Nuzlocke on the channel today. We are going to be starting our Pokemon Fire Red Omega Nuzlocke. Now if you guys don't know what Fire Red Omega is, allow me to explain. Fire Red Omega is a ROM hack of Pokemon Fire Red. Um, made by Dreyana, who is considered like um, one of the top ROM hackers who does Pokemon. You know, like, Kind of what Dreano does is he makes hard mode of Pokemon. He doesn't really make brand new games as such. But he makes hard mode of Pokemon. And um, yeah, that's what he's done here. So this is hard mode of Pokemon Fire Red. And this is all going to start again. Uh, but yeah, he makes hard mode of Pokemon Fire Red. So there's like quite a lot of changes been put into this. Like for example, you can catch all of the Pokemon that are originally in the game. I believe these things like updated movesets, updated sprites, updated um, moves, all of that malarkey. So we're going to get straight in here with before um, it starts again. But yeah, if you're excited for a brand new series on the channel, please do leave a like down below. Uh, click that like button. Please subscribe and comment. I appreciate all of your interaction. It really does help me out, especially with a brand new series, because you never know what's going to happen on a brand new series. Uh, I've not randomized it or anything like that. We're just going to do a standard Nuzlocke at the game, because I was going to do, like, some sort of weird Nuzlocke with Pokemon Fire Red. But then I thought, well, no, because we've got Fire Red Omega here, so let's do this. Let's do this. I don't need any help. So, uh, welcome to Fire Red Omega, an edit of Pokemon Fire Red that incorporates all 386 Pokemon of the third generation. Fire Red, Fire Red Omega has revamped wild Pokemon trainer battles and even ha added in a few new areas. There have been many changes overall. Stuff like level up moves, stats have also been edited. And in the name of making the usage of different Pokemon much easier than previous, evolution methods have been edited so that all Pokemon can be evolved in the game. You will... You get the national decks early too with the normal Pokedex. Hope you can enjoy. Hope you enjoy this new, hopefully challenging fights that await you in the edit. If you got got it with the patch, use the notepad. Ba 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 ba. Have fun, Dreano. So let's see what this. I've never done a Dreano hat before, so I, I kind of want to see this. We need to change this tech speed as soon as we get in there. But hello there, glad to meet you. Welcome to the world of Pokemon. My name is Oak. People affectionately refer to me as the Pokemon Profession. Profession? Professor. This world is inhabited by far and wide by creatures called Pokemon. For some people, Pokemon are, are pets. Others use them for battling. As for myself, I study Pokemon as a profession. But first, tell me a little bit about yourself. Alright then. Let's tell him a little bit about ourselves. Just give me a second here just to make sure. Yeah, we're on, we're on, we're on. Just want to make sure... Now, oh, tell me, are you a boy or are you a girl? I'm a boy, man. I am a man. Let's begin with your name. What is it? Uh, my name. Everybody knows. Well, everybody who watches me knows that we are Leon. We are always Leon. So let's start with Leon. Right. So your name is Leon. Yes, it is. Ha. Ah, this is my grandson. He's been your rival since you were both babies. Ah, uh, what was his name now? Man, if you can't remember your name, your grandson's name, then I'm I'm sorry, you you got some issues, man. Uh, right. Let's be honest, we're still a young channel, like we're not really getting to know a load of people around. So I'm once again gonna name this after uh, after my good friend Dragon Tamer Luke. Um because yeah, go and check him out. Basically, go and check out Dragon Tamer Luke. Uh, oh, was it Luke? It was Luke. That's right, I remember now. His name is Luke. Ha! Ah. Leon, your very own Pokemon legend is about to unfold. A world of dreams and adventures of Pokemon awaits. Let's go. Alright, let's go. Let's go, Oak. First thing you do, you've got to check the PC. 
Second thing you do is increase the speed of this text. But we're going to take this potion. So let's increase the speed of this text because it's on slow to start with. So um, let's get a nice frame. Let's get a nice frame. I don't know. Well, we'll go. We'll go with the red because it kind of suits the. Uh, Kind of suits the uh, the layout a little bit. Looks nice. So let's head straight downstairs and have a chat with Mum. Right, all boys leave home someday. It says so on TV. Oh yes, Professor Oak next door was looking for you. There's a movie on TV. Four boys are walking on railroad tracks. I better go too. Yeah, we better go. Let's head down. Let's head out. I really want to try and get sorted so that we can perhaps get some encounters in this episode. So let's let's not bother talking to Daisy. Let's not bother talking to Daisy. Let's go straight out, straight out here. Hey, wait! Don't go out. Wonderful! It's unsafe. Wild Pokemon live in tall grass. You need your own Pokemon for your protection. I know. Here, come with me. All right, all right we'll follow you. We'll follow you in your slightly senile self. And just make sure that you're okay getting home. Man, Gramps, I'm fed up with waiting. Ah, oh, Luke, let me think. Oh, that's right. I, I told you to come. Just wait. Here, Leon. These are three Pokemon here. Ha! That Pokemon I held inside these Pokeballs. When I was young, I was a serious Pokemon trainer. But now in my old age, I only have these three left. You can have one. Go on, choose. Hey, Gramps, no fair. What about me? Be patient, Luke. You can have one, too. Alright. So, first change that we are going to encounter in Pokemon Fire Red Omega is the starters. We've got Magby, which we're not claiming just yet. We've got Smoochum. And we've got Alakid. So we've got the three baby Pokemon here, which uh, normally is like quite would be quite dangerous. I wouldn't be happy with this choice, but I think Dreano buffed the baby Pokemon so that they can survive a little bit. So, um, but a little while ago, uh, I was going to start this game and then didn't. But um, I put out a poll on Amino that I asked which Pokemon I should choose, and I believe Smoochum got like next to no vote. So I think Smoochum got about 8% of the vote. Then it was quite close between Magby and Alakid. But I'm pretty sure Alakid edged it. I think he ended up getting like um, 40... 45% of the vote and then Magby got the rest which yeah, which would be like... No, that doesn't add up. That doesn't add up to 100. Whatever, whatever. Alakid won anyway. That was the important thing. I remember that Alakid won. Hmm, Alakid is your choice. Has a lot of flair. So, Leon, you decided to take the electric Pokemon Alakid. This Pokemon is really quite energetic. Alright, we've got Alakid from Professor O. Do we want to give a nickname? We do, because this is a Nuzlocke. So, uh, we need to give nicknames to everything. Um, you know what? I'm a fan of, I'm a fan of Yu-Gi-Oh. I am a fan of Yu-Gi-Oh. And... Um, I'm not really a fan of Yu-Gi-Oh! after the first series, but um, I am a fan, fan of Yu-Gi-Oh! So I am going to call Alakid Sparkman from Ele Elemental Hero Sparkman. Yeah. Um, yeah, man, I'll take this one then. So Luke's got to smooch him. Alright, alright, fair enough, fair enough, Luke. You take the smooch him. You take the smooch him. And with that, let's get into our first battle. Come on, I'll take you on. Let's check out our Alakid in this battle. Let's have a look, see what we get. See what we got here. Smoochum's here. Level 5. Oh, for Pete's sake. Pushy as always. Leon, you've never had a Pokemon battle before, have you? Man, I've been having Pokemon battles for the last 20 years. Pokemon battle is when trainers pit their Pokemon against each other. Trainers, yeah, we don't need all this. We don't need all this. We know all this, Oak. Let's have a look at... Mm. Yes, yes, yes. We're holding an item. Which is nice. We're modest natured. Wow, that's awesome. We are actually a modest natured. We're holding an Auron Berry. 
But we're a modest natured spark man. Modest up special attack, lowers attack, I believe. So we have to remember that. We've got quick attack. Quick attack and Leah. So, yeah, modest nature is really nice. I know probably, like, Electabuzz is more of a physical attacker, I suppose, in later games, but... And <laughs> we get the static paralysis to the start. Luke, you didn't know what you were getting into here, man. You just did not know what you were getting into. I'm actually going to get through this without using my Auron Barrier. Up. <laughs> don't, don't even, like, talk to me, man. You got nothing on me. And straight to level 6. Beautiful. Thundershock. Nice. What? Unbelievable. I picked the wrong Pokemon. Yeah, you did. Yeah, you did. Hmm, excellent. If you win, you earn prize money and your Pokemon will grow. Or the battle of the trainers and make your Pokemon strong. Okay, I'll make my Pokemon battle. Toughen it up. Leon Gramps, I'll smell you later. I love the fact that... Like, Luke's trying to be really cool with it, it all here. He's like, yeah, I'm going to battle it up. And he's got a little smooch him. He's literally carrying around a little girl in his pocket. Literally carrying around a little girl in his pocket. Right. So we're going to head through it, through Route 1 and get all of this sorted for... All of the stuff sorted for Oak here. There's two suits on this route. Which is different. I like that means we've got a bit more variety in this first route. I, I kind of don't want to see everything that's on offer in this route. I just want to go for it and, and see what happens. I just want to go for it and see what happens. You're going to give me a potion? Yeah, you are. You know you are. You know you want to give me a potion. I really want the running shoes. Hopefully you get that hopefully Dre gave you them early. I really hope so. So we've got Pidgeys in this route as well, that's expected. Ooh, excuse me. I've just I've just literally just had my lunch just before starting recording and yeah, it's um, it's coming back to bite me a little bit. So we made it. We made it to Viridian City. Yeah, I'm just gonna go straight to the mart. Let's get let's get this let's get this all sorted. Get everything that we need to do all done. Hey, you came from Pallet Town? You know Professor Oak, right? His order came in. Can I get you to take it to him? Sure. Give it here. I mean he probably doesn't remember that he ordered it and you know, I, I can understand why you need somebody else to go and take it to him for for you. So uh, important things, I, I didn't, I, I have like played the start of this game a little bit. So important things, we've got grass in Viridian City. It's another encounter that we can get later on when we get Pokeballs. Hopefully later on in this episode. That's literally as far as I've played so far, is, is up to Viridian City and found out you can get, get an encounter there. Which So that's exciting. I'm really, I'm really happy to be playing this game. Like, you kind of, I've never, I've never played a Dre hack. Um, the only hacks that I've, well, it's not, the Insurgents isn't a hack, and then I played Prism, obviously. But uh, so anything that's been on the channel, I've played, and other than that, not a clue. So it's great. Oh, wonderful! Ah, Leon, how is my old Pokemon? I seem to be growing attached to you. You must be talented as a Pokemon trainer. What's that? You have something for me? We got a parcel for you, man. Ah, it's a custom Pokeball. I had it in order. Thanks. Gramps. Man, I almost forgot. You gave me this little tiny woman. Uh, what would you call me for, anyway? Oh, right. Yes, I have a request for you two. On the desk there is my invention, the Pokedex. It automatically records data on Pokemon you've seen or caught. It's a high-tech encyclopedia. Leon and Luke, take these with you. I'll take, the po I'll take the Pokedex from Professor Oak. You can't get detailed data on Pokemon just by seeing them. <laughs> oh, no, don't be stupid. You must catch them to obtain complete data. So here's some tools for catching wild Pokemon. The Nuzlocke has started. We got five Pokeballs. The Nuzlocke has officially started. If we lose Spartman now, it is game over. When a wild Pokemon appears, it's fair game. Just throw a Pokeball at it and try and catch it. So 
don't always work, however. A healthy Pokemon can escape. You have to be lucky. To make a complete guide on all the Pokemon in the world. That was my dream. But now I'm too old. I can't get the job done. I want you two to fulfill my dream for me. Get moving, you two. This is a great undertaking in Pokemon history. All right, Gramps. Leave it all to me. Leon, I hate to say it. I won't be needing you for this. I know. I'll borrow a town sister. The, the town sister. We'll go with it. I'll tell her not to give you a town sister, Leon. Don't bother coming round to my place. Okay, let's go and get a town sister. Let's go get a town sister. Hey, Daisy. Hmm, Grandpa asked you to run an errand. Gee, that's lazy of him. Here, this will help you. But to do it, you gotta come sleep with me first. See you later. That was quick. It was quick. Nobody said Pokemon wasn't realistic. Okay, if we get an encounter on Route 1... <laughs> I've had some time off from recording, guys. Uh, so, you know uh, you know that I'm a little bit... Woo oh, here we go. We got a Rattata. That's our first encounter on Route 1. A female Rattata, which sucks because it means we can't call it Joey. Sucks. Uh, I mean, it lives another quick attack. I'm a little bit scared of critting it, but... Ooh. And we get the paralysis from static. Lovely, right. Let's throw a Pokeball. No, no, we're not throwing the town sister. Nice. Nice, we got a rat at it. Uh, Rathata's data was added to the Pokedex. I didn't read that. It kind of took me by surprise. So we've got a female Rathata. I've never had a female Rathata in a game before. What could I call it? What could I call it? <clears throat> um... Man, I don't know what to call this. I do not know what to call this. I can't even, like, think of female rats or female mice in like cartoons or anything like that I can't I just can't think of them so I'm gonna call it Nora I don't know Nora no we've had Nora before haven't we haven't we had a Nora before I feel like we have in a previous playthrough. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna go for Nora. I'm not gonna go for Nora. Let's go for. Uh. It's... Nah, just M. We're gonna go for M. We're gonna go for M. Kind of want to go for Emma, but like, I like the wrestler Emma. So naming her name her a rat after is probably not not the best idea. Probably not not the best idea. I mean she might watch my videos, so you know. You never know. Pr pretty sure I know. Pretty sure I know. Bad news is we've not been given the running shoes yet. That means we're gonna get them outside Pewter City, I think. Hmm. Which sucks. We're gonna keep them in the party for the moment. Because, why not? Two Pokemon in the party. Better than nothing. We're going to get encounters um, in Viridian City and to the left of Viridian. So let's see what our Viridian City encounter is. Not that you, you never say that. You never say that. Our Viridian City encounter is a Doduo. What? 
Okay, so the Hutu lived a Thundershock, right, earlier. So this Doduo's got to live a Thundershock. Wow, Doduo is... I, I was going to nearly said go, nearly dead. Doduo is a great encounter. I'm happy with that. And it's easy to capture as well. Nice. Nice. Doduo is so different. A two-headed Pokemon was discovered as a sudden mutation. It runs at a pace of only over 60 miles per hour. Um... Okay, I don't normally do this and reference the, like, I don't normally reference, um, big YouTubers all that much. Big PokerTubers, because I'm a, I'm a big fan of, like, guys like Shady Penguin and, and, and that. So, in the, in reference to, um, to Shady Penguin and, at the time he, he was known as It's Nips, he's now Mr. Talent, I believe. Um... In reference to the rival lock, we've got Baldy the Doduo. Because he was iconic. Baldy was just iconic. Rash natured. Oh, Lord. Isn't rash natured up special attack, doesn't it? So it's pretty poor. He's only got Peck and Growl as well, so that's fine. And M has got Tackle and Tail Whip. Uh, but is careful nature. Probably some sort of defense. Probably some sort of defense. Let's go and get an encounter over here as well. I might, I might even get all of our encounters today. Centret. Centret looks happy to be here. Centret looks really happy to be here. Oh, that did a bit a, a sizable amount. Did more than I was hoping for. Did more than I was hoping for. Now right, let's, let's ball it. Soundtrack was caught. It stands on the t on its tail so it can see a long way. If it spots an enemy, it cries loudly to warn its kind. Given it needs Soundtrack, we will. Um, man. What what's, what's what do you call a female ferret? <laughs> what would you call a female ferret? Uh, you call it Valerie. That's what you call a female ferret. You call it Valerie. I don't know. I don't know. We're not going to have Valerie on the team. I'm not. I'm not going to have have Valerie on the team. I can't. I don't want because that that be three normal types. Oh, I thought there'd be an item there. What's that dude doing down there? He looks shifty. Let's go and have a chat with him. In fact, let's have a chat with everybody in the town because we're not going to get an encounter up north. We'll get them next episode. Those Pokeballs at your waist. You have a Pokemon, don't you? It's great. You can carry Pokemon and use them everywhere and anywhere and all sorts. And yeah. So let's head into the Pokemon Center. Hi. It's a Pokemon Center in every town I have. Charge no money, so don't be shy about healing Pokemon. All right. All right. Feel free to use the PC in the corner. I will then. I will, and I'm gonna I'm gonna deposit Valerie. Cause uh, not really, not really in for using a sand trap. And seeing as uh, this time, unlike the retirement lock series that we did last time, uh, I can use Pokemon in any order I want. Cause this is just a standard Nuzlocke. I'm not doing anything extra. I didn't even explain Nuzlocke rules. You guys know the Nuzlocke rules. Catch first Pokemon in a roof. Pokemon faints. It's considered dead. Got a nickname, everything. All of that malarkey. Let's buy some more balls. 
Uh, oh, I don't have much. You get Premier Ball if I buy time. Nope. You buy potions in here. So you have two potions. We need antidotes. Just in case. You never know. I gotta buy some potions. You never know when your Pokemon will need a quick healing. I bet this shop does good business in antidotes. We've got no other way of healing poison, let's be honest. Okay, let's have a trip in here. I'm trying to memorize all my notes. I'm not reading your notes, love. No. Because you're just going to talk about statuses and stuff. I just, just can't. I just can't. I just can't. Go shopping in Pure City occasionally. I have to take the winding trail through Viridian Forest when I go. My daddy loves Pokemon too. Coming up with nicknames is fun, but it's not easy to do. <laughs> You're damn right it isn't. That's why I've got M and Valerie. Clever names are nice, but simple names are easier to remember. What's your what's the name? Speary. Speary, good name, good strong name. Well though, I've had my coffee and that's what I need to get going. What oh, what's that red box you have? Oh, so you're working on a Pokedex. Let me give you a word of advice. Whenever you catch a Pokemon, the Pokedex automatically updates its data. You don't know how to catch a Pokemon. I suppose I better show you then. Oh. Oh. I didn't need this, old man. Oh, I suppose at least he doesn't try and attack it. I'm pretty sure in the, in later ROM hacks that Dre did, he removed all of this tutorial malarkey and just got on with it. Pretty sure. Uh, now tell me that was not educational, was it not? Here, take this too. Oh, teach you TV, okay. There's something you don't understand, watch that. It'll teach you about the basics of being a Pokemon trainer. Hello. I am the fishing guru. I simply love fish and I can't bear to go without. Tell me, do you like to fish? I do. I like your style. I think we could be friends. Take this and fish, young friend. Whoa. We just got an old rod. We just got an old rod. I may have to take a trip back to, pa uh, to Pallet Town. I may have to take a trip back to Pallet Town. I hope you guys don't mind, but... To get a water type on the team... That'd be pretty important. Especially because Alakid can't really do much against Brock. Obviously, now that we've like, kind of got a team, although we've got too many Pokemon for the team at the moment, I, I feel like having... Well, if I, if I had a water type to my team, we, we will anyway. I'm really happy with our team. Oh, we can't, can't go any further than that. Really happy with our team at the moment, but... Pokemon is on the hook! Our first encounter in Pallet Town is a Shelder! Ooh! Level 7 Shelder! Okay, let's Thundershot this. Ooh, we nearly killed it! Right, we're catching this shelter. We're catching this shelter. Yes! Shelter was caught! Alright! This is like the best way to start a, a series. It is encased in a shell that's harder than diamond. Inside, however, it's surprisingly tender. Give a nickname to Shelder. I will. Um, it's a male Shelder. Um, um, Roy. Roy the Shelder. It's not from Fire Emblem or anything like that. 
It's just Roy. It's just Roy. This pony is in the grass here. Wow. Dre, what are you doing when you created this game? There's ponytails in this grass. I mean, I assume they've not got a fire type move, but can you imagine if you chose and smooch them here? And your first encounters are ponytails. You got no way of killing them. Just having to pound them to death. Either way, it wouldn't be pretty. It wouldn't be pretty. I'm going to get back up to Viridian City and then we'll end the episode off. Um, yeah, it's, uh, I would say it's been a pretty, pretty productive first episode. We've got a team of four already. I will have a quick look at, uh, at Roy before we go. I'll have a quick look at Roy before we go. Oh, come on, Spartman. You need to be leveling up. You need to be leveling up. I need to be a higher level than this. Let's go and heal up. Let's go and heal up. And then we're in the next episode we'll get to uh, to take on Viridian Forest. So that'll be really cool. We've got two new encounters in Viridian uh, well, in and around Viridian Forest. So, oh, Roy's holding an item as well. What's Roy holding? Holding a pearl. That's money. A lot of defense. Um, it is relaxed nature, which I think increases defense, actually. With shell armor, it's got tackle withdrawal and lick. Of course it's got lick. Look at its tongue. Look at its tongue. We're definitely keeping Roy in the party. We're definitely keeping Roy in the party. And the jury's still out on M. But, like, we've got, we've got a, a strong team already. Look at that. Look at that. That's a good start to an episode. Right, guys. Thank you very much for watching, guys. I hope you have enjoyed this first episode of the series. Brand new series on the channel. Like I say, please do leave some support in likes, comments, and subscriptions down below. I will appreciate all of your uh, all of your interaction that you have with the channel. And uh, yeah, and if you're excited for this new series, please tell me how excited you are. I want to. I can't wait to be getting into this game properly. So, thank you very much for watching, guys. I hope you have enjoyed it, and I will see you next time. Stay brave, guys.